Hello again, primary four and theme four. I am a responsible person. Unit 12, we can fix it, part two. For learning objectives, unit 12, by the end of this unit, the student will be able to listen, read, research, and write about world problems and their possible solutions. Practice making sentences with scan for ability. Learn about different ways of saving the world. Learn and say words that end with ION. Read and listen to a short story. Listen to how we can fix things. Research and make a leaflet about being more environmentally aware. Okay, my dears, let's start lesson four, angles. And we have very important question for you. How many kinds of angles? Who can tell me? Okay, thank you, my dears. That's right. We have three kinds of angles. Right angle, obtuse angle, acute angle. One more time. Right angle, obtuse angle, acute angle. Did you know an angle is an amount of space between two straight lines? We measure it in degrees. There are three angles, a right angle, acute angle, and obtuse angle. A right angle is 90 degrees. Please look at the, the angle. A right angle is 90 degrees. An obtuse angle is bigger than a right angle. An obtuse angle is bigger than a right angle. An acute angle is smaller than a right angle. Okay, my dears, now we have an exercise on angles and we have six shapes of angles. We have to look at the angle and see. Which one is right angle, acute angle, or obtuse angle? Number one. Yes, it's obtuse angle. That's right. What about number two? Perfect, my dears. Yes, number two is right angle because it's 90 degrees. What about number three? Good answer. It's acute angle because it's smaller than a right angle. Number four? Yes, it's also acute angle. Number five? A right angle. Excellent. Number six? Excellent, my dears. Obtuse angle. Now, my dears, we have a short story than you bike. Tomorrow is my sister Laura's birthday. I want to give her a present, but I have no money. She really wants a bike, and then remember, we have an old bike in the shed. I love recycling and think I'm a toy doctor. I take the bike from the shed and clean it. I remove the old metal. This takes a lot of time because it's very old and brown. I talk to my uncle and he gives me some special paints to protect the, the bike. Then. I paint it pink, my sister's favorite color. I put a new seat 
on the bike. It's leather and brown. I put a basket at the front of the bike so my sister can put her toy cat in there when she rides her bike. I took a photo of the bike so you can see it. What do you think? How many angles can you see? Do you think she like it? She have. Okay, my lovely dears, now we are going to learn some expressions to give our opinions. Okay, so look at the table, listen and repeat. I think that I feel that, in my opinion, it is clear that, it's obvious that. So all these expressions, my dears, we can use them to give opinions. For example, I think that I can recycle this bike. I feel that. My brother likes the red color. In my opinion, recycling saves money. It's clear that it needs a new seat. It's obvious that it needs a basket. Okay, my dears, we have some exercises on our previous lesson. Listen and write it true or false. Number one, an angle is a space between two straight lines. Yes, true. Number two, we measure an angle in centimeters. False, excellent. Number three, there are four angles. Good answer. False, because there are three angles. Number four, the right angle is 90 degrees. True. Thank you. The next question, read and match. A right angle. Let's read the second column. In degrees is 90 degrees is bigger than a right angle is smaller than a right angle. A right angle, yes, my dear, is 90 degrees. An obtuse angle, yes, perfect, is bigger than a right angle. An acute angle, good answer, is smaller than a right angle. And of course, we measure an angle in degrees. Okay, my dears, they are lessons five and six of our unit 12. We can fix it. And in these two lessons, we are going to learn how can we use notes to make sentences. And of course, we will learn how can we make a presentation. A very important question for us. How can we make a presentation? Making notes in two sentences. Now, my dears, I'll show you some notes and how can we use them to make sentences. Okay, so here in the first column, we have some notes and we will learn how can we change them into sentences. Number one, need to look after planet. So of course we can use the pronoun we in the beginning to make it a sentence. So we need to look after the planet. Number two, droughts, floods, fires, natural or humans make problems and it's clear for us it's a question 
yes. So we can use R in the beginning to make it a question. Are droughts floods and fires natural or do hum humans make these problems? Number three, should use more solar energy. We should use more solar energy. Number four, should save water. We should save water. Number five, should use energy saving light bulbs. Perfect. We should use energy saving light bulbs. Number six, can clean the beach. We can help clean the beach. Number seven, can recycle. We can recycle. Or we can recycle rubbish. Can fix all the toys and other things so they have a new life. We can fix all the toys and other things so they have a new life. Now, my dears, we have practice on how we can use notes to make sentences. Look at the notes and the photos, then read the te text from the notes. What is wind energy and why is it good energy? Here are the notes. Wind energy, wind, moves blades, makes electricity, good energy, because cheap plus easy, problems with this energy, expensive and need space. Here are the notes and photos. Okay, my dears, let's read how can we use these notes into make or making sentences. Wind energy. We can get energy from the wind. This happens when wind moves the blades and a generator changes this movement into electricity. It is a good energy because it's cheap and easy. The problem with this energy is that it can be expensive at the beginning. It also needs a big space. Okay, my dears, let's learn now how to present. Now you have all your information. You can prepare to present the information. The language in the box will help you organize your presentation. So here, my dears, First, we have to say hello, or good morning, or good afternoon, everyone. All these expressions, we can use them in the beginning of our presentation. What you want to talk about. This is the second step. This morning, or this afternoon, I want to tell you about. And of course, we have to mention what we are going to talk about, like the topic. Okay, number three, or the third step, put your thoughts in order. Yes, we can use these words to organize or to put your thoughts in order, like first of all, then lastly. Okay, my dears, the last step, and it's very important in our presentation, finish your talk. Of course, at the end of our presentation, we have to thank. Okay, we can say, thanks very much for listening. Are there any questions? Of course, they are very important.
Okay, my dears, let's have some exercises on our previous lessons. Number one, listen and write. True or false? Number one, the sun warms the solar panels. Yes, true. Excellent, my dears. Number two, solar energy is not cheap. Good answer. False. Solar energy needs a lot of sun. True. Excellent. The next question. Choose a correct answer. Number one. We get wind, solar, water, energy from the sun. Yes, the correct answer is solar. Number two, in the solar, wind, coal, energy, the movement changes into electricity. Good answer. Wind. The, in the wind energy, the movement changes into electricity. The solar energy is, and easy, it's good. The solar energy is cheap, of course. Thank you. Number four. Droughts, floods, and fires are problems. Natural, human, solar. Excellent, my dears. Natural problems. Number five. The wind and solar energy. Can be at the beginning. Right. The wind and the solar energy can be expensive at the beginning. Number six. The wind moves the to create energy. Perfect answer. The wind moves the blades to create energy. Thank you, Primary 4. We have finished Unit 12. We can fix it. Thank you for listening and see you next time.